Welcome to Anime Fight Scorecard. On today's episode, we'll be looking at the principal versus the deer from Nichijou. And here is our tale of the tape. The principal has a variety of tricks and gadgets in his arsenal. He also has a history of wrestling that many do not know about. Meanwhile, raw power and keen senses are the deer's best skills. The deer has powerful antlers that he can thrust with his muscular thighs. While the deer does have those powerful antlers, and yes, they are deadly and effective, many, like, every single year there's so many people who die from deer attacks, like, the fact that there's an old man, an old frail man going up against a deer, it's very, uh, alarming to watch. Of course, starting on the battlefield, the deer is minding his own business, while meanwhile the principal is coming up behind him, he seems to have a tactic of his own here, sneaking up behind the deer, trying to capture him with a rope. But you see, this deer actually has very sharp senses, and it's a forest creature that always needs to be looking out for danger and knows what's going on around itself at all times. So as soon as the principal gets in range, it launches a surprise attack. Success. This was an expert bait strategy and looks like a devastating blow. However, the principal gets up and seems unfazed. That's the part that starts to make me wonder, what is this old man got in him here? Did the man just survive being attacked once by the deer? Like, what, what is happening? Of course, he, he calmly gets up, and this is what launches his next tactic. Okay, so maybe sneaking up didn't work against the deer. So now, the principal, what he does here is he gets a deer biscuit and tries to lure the deer in. Again, the deer executes a perfect bait and attacks, knocking the principal over with another vicious blow. This time, however, while last time he might have seemed unfazed, it definitely seems like the principal is in some kind of pain. But the principal does get up again. He realizes that his stealth and tricks won't work on this very attentive deer, so he changes tactics from brains to bronze and takes a physical approach to this fight. Why? To perform a pro wrestling moonsault. This freaking mad lad misses falls flat on his face, and he attempts to climb up again, but he realizes, ah, uh, it's, I'm too tired for this. <laughs> I'm just way too tired for this. And he gets down. And now the deer takes this opportunity of the principal failing to execute this attack to punish him, and knocks him over once again, carrying out his first unprovoked attack. Yet again, the principal rises, and now he reveals to us how he's been taking all these impressive attacks. A ballistics vest. Just when you thought, just when you thought this old man did not have enough tactics, he came prepared. So, while these attacks have been knocking the wind out of this principal, he won't sustain any permanent damage, which has given him a huge advantage here. They then square up for one final grapple. In the blink of an eye, they connect, and the principal clears the deer's antlers using the deer's momentum to push past him to the left, wrapping around the deer's flank. The principal carries the deer into a bear hug from behind, and German suplexes him. That's the KO. And that right there is the end of the fight. No doubt the deer had to have gotten more points here. He landed more blows, won more engagements, and was looking strong the entire time. The principal failed and missed with every other tactic and attack he tried until he pulled through at the end and ended the fight in a single blow. The deer clearly has a lead of points here. All in all, very close fight. However, human ingenuity wins again as the deer was unable to land a finishing blow due to the ballistic vests that the principal had. Oh, without a doubt, if this guy did not have that vest, he very likely would have died. <laughs> Yes, and it seemed like in the beginning that the principal's tools were useless, but they were the only thing keeping him in the fight. While the deer didn't fall for any of his gadgets or tricks, he was just not able to do anything about the vest. Man wins in the end here. That's all for the fight today, guys. If you have a suggestion for the next anime fight that we could cover, go ahead and leave a comment of your suggestion down below. And if you want to guarantee that we will cover that fight no matter what, 
you can go ahead and check out our five dollar reward tier on patreon where you can put in your suggestion and we will have it be in a video just like this one andrew it's been great to have you on today man i definitely would like to have you on the next episode again yes pleasure to be here thank you for having me looking forward to being on the anime fight cards next time and looking forward to seeing all of you 